Welcome to Bowser Training Lead Code Solution. If you want the best mock interview, interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. And if you want to receive the latest tech interview news, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat here. And if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at bowsertraining at outlook.com. So today we're going to talk about another some related question. So now it's four sum. Essentially, giving an array of integers, find the four integers that sum to the target number, and then in the uh, qual triplets, so it should be a non-descending order, and uh, there, and uh, you want the, all the solutions. So that means there could be duplicates in the in the array, in the final solution. Um, so at this point, I think we should be very clear. Like for the k-sum problem, we could solve it. Um, by using sort and then two pointers, we could uh, reduce one dimensional. So that means um, case sum problem, we could uh, solve it into O n k minus one type of complexity. And uh, that's just should be our something to keep in mind. And without further ado, uh, so this four sum problem, just like how we solve three sum. So we'll have a fixed first number, second number, and then for the rest of the two numbers, we'll apply two sum to it. Or you could think about the other way is recursively. Like for four sum, you could fix one and then apply three sum. And for three sum, you fix one, apply two sum. And two sum is our kind of recursion basic line, return line. Okay, so here we go. So this is the we fix two numbers and now we have two left we can use two sum and uh, Target. So the code structure actually looks very similar to the previous question. You can tune into the previous video and take a look. So So first we want the smallest number is i.
And after this, because uh, there could be still numbers in between, right? So what we want to do is we'll have a we need to have a for loop for this. And size and uh, we want to skip the duplicate values, so this sum is less than this target it means we need to increase the number so here there might be duplicates but since it's not in the solution set so we don't really care which is to do another calculation should be fine. So now, after this, we exit the inner loop. So I might be duplicated, right? So um, what we can do here is now I J. We want to increase J and this is the outer for loop so before we enter here I could also be duplicate Finally, we will return results. Okay. So if we, so this will be your ON one, two, three, like ON cube complexity, and uh, if you run one example, we run one example, fix two number, we're getting two. So think. Should look correct. Target is zero. So target is zero. So first one we sort this, right? So the target is zero. We first of this two and then we're trying to find if there's three. So two less than that, we want more, two, one, two, three. So this will be one solution, right? This one, yeah. And then we can, it's the same thing. I think this looks correct. The algorithm even if you have a duplicate in the array we'll just skip the duplicate one
All right. Thanks for watching. This is Owen Cube. Just remember k sum k minus one complexity. Oh, one thing I want to mention is there seems to be another kind of train of train of thinking is um, to kind of keep a hash map. Key is the the pair sum and the value is like two pairs, right? So you can go into this array for every two pair, so you can have a sum. So this will be Owen square. Essentially, we'll have a hash map of a, a value and then all the key pairs. You can try to dedupe them. However, and then you loop through this array again. So for each of the key pair, you can just directly look at this hash map to see if there's another thing, uh, another value is is there. You can just directly get the, get it out, and then you can define your uh, quad quadruplets so that you can you know you can implement the equals and then hash 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 code uh, method so that uh, you know you can dedupe those however there could be one problem it's very very hard to dedupe is um, when, when you are at currently at this value right and then for example you're kind of at a zero and then there already there's already a zero zero equals to zero but this zero is your original zero so then you will end up having three zeros in there while you only have two zeros so I guess by that, what I really mean is, is if you have a like a zero zero solution. So now your map having a zero key is key is zero, and then value is zero zero. So now when you add your first zero, you will think, oh, let me find a pair equals to zero. So now you have zero zero zero, which is wrong. You don't have three zeros. So it's very hard to dedupe. Just use this method, it will be fine. Thanks. Bye.